Welcome to Mark's TV. Today we're going to take a look at the Garmin Echomap UHD 93 SV. And so I've been messing with it for a little while now and we're just going to go in depth on just kind of my first opinions um, and just see what, see what I think. Alright guys, so we got our Garmin unit hooked up here um, at the dash and we're going to go through just some of the settings and some of the things. Uh, just kind of give you a first look at this, uh, this Garmin unit. So uh, first thing off of with the Echo Map series is you get the maps for um, pretty much all the lakes in the U.S. with the unit versus like the Striker series where um, it doesn't come with that. So if we want to go and like, take a look at that, we got our charts here, uh, fishing, navigation. So we'll just click fishing here. It's going to pull up a contour map of the lake. Um, and this unit is touchscreen and it's going to give us different color shadings uh, based upon different depths on the lake and you can change that to whatever you want you can also change the um, items that you have displayed in the corner you can also get rid of the compass tape if you don't want it um, but so that's kind of what the basic contour maps is you can go around and look at different places zoom in whatever um, and you can put waypoints on this if you found structure while you're scanning or anything like that all right, so next thing is we just have traditional sonar. Um, so go traditional. That looks like any fish finder that you may find um, back to when they're old school. Um, and then if you went to menu, you can change um, your gain, frequency, beam width, range, all kinds of different things. You can also go into sonar setup and you can change the appearance and color scheme, which I think they have quite a few different color schemes to find one that best fits whatever you're looking at. Uh, whatever you can best differentiate those different fish marks so if you go back home so you have that you also have your clear view um, which is just seen straight below the boat um, in this case you can see i'm in 37 foot of water um there's a, a little bit of something on the bottom but not much um, i'm just kind of out here in the middle um, but that being said so this is really good to help see structure and it does a really good job of picking up some structure so here in a minute i'll go try to find um, some structure to drive over we'll see what it looks like on this and um just so you can get a good idea of what it looks like. It is also has the ability to um, detect fish as well, but rather than traditional sonar where it shows up as an arch, it'll just show up as a dot. Um, so we can go back. Next thing we're gonna look at is our side view. And so this is, um, allows you to see on either side of the boat, allows you to scan a lot larger area. If you're looking for structure, you're looking for a place where the fish might be or even fish themselves, you can see on the side view. Um, and so you get the black space in the middle, which is just our water. Um, column so however deep it is that's how far um, over it's going to be and then you can see different colors might say oh the ground's harder there or if it's a lighter color it's a lighter return it could be just dirt or sand or something like that as well as it's also going to depict structure really well on this side view so we'll go back to the home all right so we showed you uh the charts that we have we showed you the sonar the traditional clear view side view so that's what you're going to get with this unit this is also the lowest level unit that you're going to be able to have um, live scope which i personally have not used however i have done quite a bit of research on it and it's what everyone says is the thing to be using so with that said um if you're wanting to go live scope in the future i mean it's a 1500 dollar upgrade but people say it's what you need to do then this is the minimum unit that you're going to want to go with to be able to do that in the future which i think is fair but this is an 1100 dollar um, unit as it sits um, with the transducer but um so i kind of went through just some of the basic features just really quick now what's nice about this unit compared to a vivid is we have four um, quick buttons here it's also touchscreen but so we have one set up to what we typically like to use when we're out fishing we have that map pulled up we can obviously zoom if we want side view and traditional sonar now if you wanted to set it up differently you could this is just what typically works then hey maybe we went over something and want to see a little better maybe we want to get that um clear view up there as well we can switch to another one i don't know that we have these other two set up no they're not set up yet so but you can click those and get them set up however you want so with that being said um we're gonna go and try to find some structure and just uh, drive over it so you can see what it looks like on the unit itself all right so we've got our first example here it looks like we have like a bait ball or something so if i click on that okay looks pretty good um it could be a log or something as well so if i go back here i think i also had it picked up on side view and it shows it as a bunch of um a bunch of dots there i'm not sure 
don't think I had clear view on, so we're, oh, here we go. So open up clear view, just tapping on it. That looks very interesting. I don't know how well you're able to see that. Where's just a bunch of dots. I really don't know if that's a stick or not, because normally um, it comes out a lot better pronounced if you're looking at um, a tree or something like that. But anyways, it's the first piece of thing we saw, so let's go back to one and we'll continue uh, just trolling around here looking for more items. Going under the docks now or around the docks and stuff, you can see there's all kinds of different stuff here. And it really does make a pretty good picture uh, with that side view, which is really nice. And of course, you know, the sun's being mean, but it looks better than the camera can show. Um, but it's doing a really nice job making some nice pictures. So just want to give you one more look. There's not a ton of wood structure on this lake, um, so I'm not really able to show that. But I'm able to show kind of what we got going here. So kind of gives you a better idea. It is a very nice, clear picture with the UHD uh, ultra high definition unit here we got from Garmin. So definitely looks a lot better than the Striker series. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching Mark's TV today. I hope you learned something or at least got something out of this video. Um, if you have any questions about the uh, 93SV UHD Garmin unit that I uh, was showing you today, just let me know in the comments below. I can try to answer those. I do have a decent amount of time with this, but not a ton, and I am definitely not a professional when it comes to using it. Um, but if you have any questions, I can try to answer them for you or make another video on them. So thank you so much for watching.